created BRC Fallow Deer in the spring of 2022. Our starter pack herd was all yearling animals. We knew this meant two to three years without any income and we planned our budget accordingly. They say you have to spend money to make it. Well, I'm happy to report that we have our first official Fallow Deer sales. Tag along with us today as we load and deliver these bucks. The first buck we are loading up is Frankfurt. He is a three-year-old and was part of our original starter pack. He was only used as a breeder for our first breeding season in 2022. He is completely sedated and is unaware of us loading him into the crate. We chose to sedate him for his safety. We did not want him trying to turn around in the crate with his large antlers. This way we could position him facing the door for an easy exit. The second buck being loaded today is a chocolate colored yearling. He was born last summer. We decided it was best for him to be loaded awake as he can move around the crate more easily. But we had to be extra careful with him. His spike antlers are sharp and he had just shed his velvet. I'm so glad he didn't get jumpy during this part.
Go ahead. Now when you open it, um, well, be ready to go all the way open if he does go backwards. I absolutely love this deer crate that Brendan designed. He really thought about all the details when he put it together. It fits perfectly in the back of the truck, but is lightweight enough for us to move around. Safety is so important for both us and the deer. And this crate has made a huge impact on our ability to safely move a couple of deer at a time. Brendan is giving Frankfurt a shot of reversal medication that will help him wake up from the tranquilizer medication we administered in the chute. It took him about 5 to 10 minutes to wake up. We were thankful he didn't freak out and he stayed very calm in the crate. Every deer we have transported in the crate so far have handled it perfectly. They stand for a little bit and then they settle in for the rest of the drive. One last quick peek, then we hit the road. Kansas Trophy Outfitters is a hunting preserve located two hours northeast of us. Their hunting preserve is roughly 400 acres within the high fence. That's about 3.7 miles of fencing. The pen spans about one and a half miles in length. They provide affordable guided hunting opportunities with lodging on site at the Country Lakes Bed and Breakfast. They have several different kinds of animals located in their preserve trophy white-tailed deer, a couple different species of rams, elk, red stag, 
water buffalo, ibex, a yak, and newly added fallow deer. These animal herds roam throughout the large fenced area. The preserve has a great variety of terrain features, creeks, hills, meadows, ponds, and much more. As the various breeding populations increase, hunting opportunities are provided to reduce the numbers to keep the land optimal and healthy. All of their hunts are led by an experienced guide and come with butcher and package services for the meat that's harvested. How amazing is that? The hunter goes home with frozen packaged meat if they harvest an animal. Such a great alternative to just buying meat at the store to feed your family. We highly suggest checking out Kansas Trophy Outfitters for your next hunting experience.